Hello viewers welcome to our channel planning p6 today we are here with a new and important topic which is how we can assign or change our relationship from excel because one of my viewer my friend ask a question in comment section he has strongly assigned the predecessors as successors in primavera because he is a learner and that's why he make this mistake open your primavera p6 software open your project and arrange your columns like that original duration predecessor successor start and finish if you want to arrange any other you can arrange it okay first of all schedule your project on the date whatever you want schedule it on 20th of july yes i want to schedule it schedule it after the scheduling go to the file file and select export option in export option go to the spreadsheet xlx next we will just only export the file activity relationship next export yes next here we will add a new one with the name of relationship activity relationships here which column we required first of all we required successor project predecessor project we don't need these two w basis if you need you can remain it predecessor activity name successor activity name relationship type move upward lag move upward and then status activity status resources move that one apply okay and then next give the location for the saving the file desktop save here open okay next finish after the finishing close it and minimize your primavera project schedule refresh your system and you can see here the our file is here v100 activity relationships open that file after the opening the file you can see here this is the file activity relationship which we have saved already this is your activity sheet predecessor and successor relationship type activity status successor activity status if they are started then lag and then these are the activity names predecessor and successor activity names now for that activity we will change only three or four activities to know how you can change the predecessor or successor activities relationship type or itself predecessor or successor activity and as well we will mention the lag here and then again we will import that for this file to the primavera p6 software to know how it's working just start here we will change this relationship predecessors of that that activity just control copy control c and paste special here values after the pasting values right click on that one and format cell as text don't forget to format that cells as text because if you save that file and it will not work in your primavera this one we have changed the predecessor of that activity and then we will change the relationship type is start to start and then right click on that activity and format the cell as text okay after the formatting as text then we will add a lag of 20 days then again a lag you can format cell as text don't forget to format cells as text now again this activity we will change the successor of this activity if you are changing a predecessor it means the successor of the previous predecessor has been automatically changed i will show you there in 
prima vera you can see the multiple relationship will be assigned by this and then we will change the successor of that activity with this one copy and paste values here and then format the cell as text okay format it and change finish to finish relationship as finish to finish you can change the finish to start start to start finish to finish and start to finish finish to finish and again format that cell as text okay and if you want to add a lag of just say 10 days we want to add a lag of 10 days add here the lag and format the cells in text okay this is how you can change if we just add two or three more legs to see the behavior of the our project 12 days and then format and you can format once this select this all row and format once no issue you can select this all row after the changing the relationships and then format as text like this way format cells text okay after the changing you can format all as a text if you want to change individually you can change individually after the save after the changing save your file and close it after the closing go to the primavera file import spreadsheet xls next from select file desktop we have this file desktop open it next activity relationship you can see here in that file only you have only activity relationships next file name import action and import to where your project okay, next and finish it the import was successful close that tab now i will show you which activity you have changed the status and predecessors and successors just focus on the lag you can know which activity we have changed you can see here at that activity we have changed the lag as 12 and then we have changed the relationship and lag as well other activity now you can see here we have changed that activity predecessor with that activity and this predecessor automatically assigned we and we assign the relationship start to start and 20 days with the lag of 20 days this we have changed now you can see here in predecessor there are two predecessors are assigned we have changed there then automatically previously activity predecessors has signed to that activity as well and now we will see next activity where the finish to start lag is 15 days it's already there and now you can see here here we change the successor of the activity of the previous activity then it will be automatically predecessor of the next activity you can see here the relationship we have changed and also we added 10 days lag the lag is showing here this is how you can change your relationships with the help of excel spreadsheets hopefully you understand our today's topic please don't forget to subscribe our channel like share and comment on our channel thanks for watching allah hafiz